All right, gentlemen, pinkies up. Sonic, we're grown men. Why are we having a tea party? Why you always gotta be Depresso Expresso Shadow? Can't you just chillax and enjoy life for once with a cup of tea? Yeah, you weird emo kid with blue hair. I'm not Depresso Expresso Faker. I just don't feel like grown men should be having tea parties with... Love is my game couch pillows. Faker, what's up with the couch pillows? What? You don't like it? I thought they looked cool on the couch. Huh, I guess so, but... Damn it, Faker, you are so narcissistic. Why are you on that pillow and on this pillow and... Is that you in a Cupid outfit? Faker, why are you dressed up as Cupid? Well, because somebody's dumb here. I obviously dressed up like Cupid on Valentine's Day for my Valentine's Day photo shoot. And okay, let's just sit here and lie like it's only me on this pillow, like Yacker and all the other wisps aren't right there on the pillow with me. What? You can't even see the wisps. Guys, shut up. My God, you're like a bunch of four-year-old little girls arguing over which My Little Pony's the best. And yes, it is Rainbow Dash. But can we just enjoy our tea like civilized men and talk about like Minecraft and stuff? Yeah, whatever. More of a Roblox player myself. Hey, guys. Uh, ooh, you guys having a tea party? Can I join? Sure. I would never partake in such childish antics. You can take my spot, Fox. This is my mug. So, Tails, what's up? Oh, uh, what's up, Sonic? Well, that's gotta be me. Well, what do you mean by that, Tails? You're up? I think he means he's bricked up. No, not in years because Cosmo died years ago. What I really mean is I'm all the way up. Huh? Huh? I'm all the way up. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Tails, did you need something? Me and Knuckles are kind of in the middle of something. Huh? Uh, oh, sorry, Sonic. Sometimes I get lost in the sauce, but, uh, I made that. Whoa! Oh my god, Tails! Do my eyes deceive me? Or is that a ring? Oh my god, Tails, you've really outdone yourself. I, I mean, a ring? I, I mean, wow, it's so golden. I've never seen a ring before, Tails. Don't tell me. Did your great, 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 great grandpappy Tails start this in like the 1500s and you just finish it to make your ancestry bloodline proud? Wow, Tails, I cannot believe you invented a ring. How monumental. Oh, ha! Sonic, but this isn't a regular ring. Oh, oh no! Is it the ring I think it is? What? No, I, I don't know what you're talking about. What special ring? If you're thinking it's a nose ring, it's not a nose ring. This is a special ring that can bring items or people from another dimension. Wait, Tails, for real? That ring can bring people or objects from another dimension? Yep, it's still technically a prototype because I haven't tested it yet, but yeah, it, it should do what I told you. Yo, Tails, that is awesome, dude. I mean, look at Knuckles over there. He's just flabbergasted. The Knuckles was too stunned to speak. I know, Sonic, I know. I'm the best. Tails is the best inventor ever. <laughs> yeah, you are, little bro. So, okay, well, well let, let's do this. How do, how do we do it? Well, in order to bring someone or something from a different dimension, all you you gotta do is say what you want or who you want to bring and you throw the ring up in the air and it summons them with a light. Wait, so it's really that simple? Yep, I programmed this so even Knuckles can understand. Hey! I promise you it's a compliment, Knuckles. All right, Tails, well, I'm ready. Let me see the ring. Wait, Sonic, are you sure you want to do this? I mean, it hasn't been tested yet and something could go wrong. Remember, it's just a prototype. Well, something's gonna go wrong with that attitude, Tails. Positive vibes only. Come on, Tails. And plus, no better time than the future. So why wait? I guess you're right, Sonic. Okay, well, who are you gonna summon? I'm gonna summon Chris Tucker. Chris Tucker? Why Chris Tucker? Because he's like the funniest actor ever, Tails. And I want to recreate the scene from Friday where he's like, damn, when a big booty girl walks by. Hmm, I guess Friday is a pretty funny movie. All right, Sonic, summon Chris Tucker. Okay, Chris Tucker. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... Tails? I don't think that's Chris Tucker. Really? What makes you say that? We haven't even seen his face. Bruh. Uh, huh? What the? Oh, my head. Where am I? Sonic! Ah, okay, okay, okay. Back up. Okay, there's, 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 okay, back up. You know, no, no hugs. Knuckles, tails, but, but how is this possible? I was just in my mom's basement on Discord with my girlfriend. Yup, sounds about right. Oh my God, Chris Jr., can you believe it? We're in Sonic's world again. <laughs> hey, Chris, oh, what the, the hell are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm gonna take my invention and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and, and watch Friday. <laughs> Damn it, Tails, you coward. I hate my friends sometimes. Oh my god, Sonic, I can't believe it's really you! Look, Chris Jr., this is the guy I told you about for the past 25 years before my bedtime! I can't believe I'm finally back! H hold on, what? Chris Jr.? All right, I'm just gonna dress it. What up with the toy? Oh, you see, Sonic, when you left my world, I was devastated. I mean, I was so depressed. They wanted to cast me for the final Tom and Jerry episode where I played Tom, but I said no. 
I prevailed. I thought of a solution, and that solution was I went to a 3D printing shop and I got myself 3D printed so I knew exactly what I look like in your eyes. That's weird. Okay, well, why would you do that, Chris? I mean, you look exactly the same. If you want to see how I saw you, just, just look in the mirror. <laughs> Thanks, Sonic. But I know the years haven't been kind to me. You know, you got taxes and stress and life. You know, life isn't fun as an adult. No, 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 no. I mean, you look exactly the same as how I last saw you. I mean, go look in the mirror. Oh, my God. Chris Jr., I get to use Sonic the Hedgehog's bathroom and look in Sonic's mirror? You need to pinch me so I know I'm not dreaming. Ow! Not a purple nurple, Chris Jr. You know I had enough of those in high school because I had no friends That's when Sonic left me. Even the lady in the wheelchair left me. All my friends left me. I'm such a loner. Just stay there, Chris Jr. Bear right back, Sonic. Why is this happening to me? Okay, oh my god, I can't believe I'm gonna use Sonic the Hedgehog's bathroom! I'm gonna get to use the toilet where he takes all of his dumps! Oh, this is so exciting. Okay, now let's see what he was talking about in the mirror. Oh my god! Sonic was right! I look like I'm 10 years old again! This is really bad. Oh no, 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 no. What about my Discord e-girlfriend? What am I gonna do about her? My kitten! I can't message her on Discord in another dimension. How am I gonna send her all of my monthly paychecks? Even though she won't voice call me for some reason. It's like I'm not even asking for a video call, girl. I just wanna hear your voice. Oh man, she is pretty hot though. You know what, Chris? No. No longer are you a simp for these e-thoughts. You are only a simp for Sonic now. Oh my god, I gotta go tell him. So, Knuckles, what are we gonna do about Chris? Well, I don't know, Sonic. I'm not the one who made the stupid invention that brought him here. Why don't you go ask Tails instead of me? He's the one who made the invention who brought him here in the first place. No, that won't work because Tails already said that the invention broke. Oh, well, if you ask me, Sonic, we should take care of Chris the old-fashioned style. Do you mean you know exactly what I mean? I'll get the baseball bat. No, 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 Knuckles, no. We're not gonna kill Chris. We're not monsters. Speak for yourself. I, I feel like a monster. Oh my god, Knuckles, was that your singing? Oh my god, it was like the voice of an angel. Can I see your biceps? Oh my god, they're so gigantic. Do you put baby oil on them? And no, what are you doing? Problem solved. Knuckles! Okay, fine, we'll go check on him. Oh my god, Chris, Chris, are you okay? Hey, Chris, don't get it twisted, but Sonic's the only one who really cares, and I don't really care if you're dead or not, but I'm just here because I have to. Wow, way to be insensitive, Knuckles. Chris. Chris, are you okay? Chris! Oh no, Knuckles, Chris is unresponsive! What are we gonna do? He's dead! We did it! Woo! Uh, Knuckles, can I have a word with you? Sure, Sonic, what's up? Knuckles, look, you just pushed Chris off of two flights of stairs. What if he died? You could've went to jail for that, dude. You gotta think straight. Sonic, I already did my time in the yard. Knuckles ain't going back, dude. I did my nickel. I ain't going back, son. Yes, I know that, Knuckles, but what if something seriously happened to Chris and, and, and then the cops went out and, and then you would be going back to the yard? It would probably me because I'm an accomplice. Nothing's gonna happen, Sonic. He's alive. Now, what are we gonna do about him? I mean, I don't know, Knuckles. I mean, not even his parents liked him. His mom was always, quote, quote, acting. I mean, she had him in a mansion with, like, butlers and stuff, but she was always, quote, quote, acting in movies, and I'm sure that's just code for her getting smashed all day. Yeah, you're right, but what about Chris's dad? Knuckles, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't even know Chris had a dad. Yeah. As soon as he saw Chris, he was probably like, Ew, I'm gone. I'm gonna go get the milk. <laughs> yeah, probably. <sighs> Chris! Chris? Chris? Oh, where'd he go, Knuckles? I don't know, Sonic. But you think he heard us talking all that shit about his family? And how pathetic his life is? I don't know, maybe, Knuckles. Well, Sonic, you know what they say. If Chris crossed applesauce, what do you think he's gonna do to us? I don't know, Knuckles, but I don't want to sit around to find out. Ah! <laughs> I got your mustache. Got what are you gonna mustache. do about it, huh? What are you, you gonna do about it, Eggman? Do Remember, it. I used to do this all the time. Dr. Eggman, your debt collector's at the door. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dr. Eggman, what are you doing to that poor child? Don't feel sympathy for him. He's a demon. There, there, child. You're safe from the bald fat man. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Hey, who are you? You're not Deco or Boko. Oh, so I don't you like you. I don't like me. you. <laughs> Arman, you just knocked out Chris! Man, damn me up, bro. I didn't know you were gangsta like that. Him and damn me up, bro. Damn me up. Oh my god, I just hit a kid. I knocked out a kid. I'm going to jail. Orbat, you're a robot. They can't take you to jail. You are a robot. I guess you're right, but... Sir, what are we going to do about this kid? He's unconscious. Even if his eyes are wide open. I don't know. I don't care. He's so annoying. Get rid of him. Throw him away or something. And meet me upstairs afterwards for an important house meeting. Right to you, Dr. Eggman. This must be pretty important if you called for an emergency house meeting, Eggman. I sure did! Now, 
what are we what are we going to do about that thing? My god, he's worse than a kid with gray teeth. You mean Chris? Yes, yes. What are we going to do about our little Christopher problem? He yanked on my mustache and he's overall irritating. See the thing more about. He also unscrewed my nuts and bolts. <laughs> you said nuts and bolts. No, but seriously, nobody disassembles my robots except for me. I'm sorry about your nuts and bolts, Orbot. I can help you fix them if you want. Thank you, Tails, but my nuts and bolts are not touched. The doctor only made me say that to embarrass myself. Oh. Okay, then. I don't know what we gonna do, but we gotta do something. I already tried pushing him off the stairs. It didn't work. Why don't we just drop him off in an adoption center and leave him there forever? <laughs> I like that idea, Shadow. I like that one. Great thinking, Shadow. An adoption center, huh? That's actually not a bad idea. Yeah, and I mean, if, if we take him to an adoption center, then maybe someone who can love him and, you know, care for him will be there because, you know, nobody, nobody, nobody loves him here. Everybody hates him. He's just a big old pile of annoying. I even heard his email was bigballs at gmail.com. Bigballs at gmail.com? Yes, bigballs at gmail.com. Can we stop talking about big balls, please? You want us to stop talking about big balls, Sonic? Yes, clearly. Hey, whoa, whoa, come on. Am I the only one here giving Chris the benefit of the doubt here? He could be talking about the big blue balls from the Sonic 3 special stages. Yeah, or the big red balls. Because, you know, when he touched the big blue balls, they turned into big red balls. Yeah, he could be talking about my big red balls. Uh, the big red balls from, from Sonic 3 special stages. Snuggler Rex, can I talk to you for a second? Alarm. Yeah, sure thing, Sammy. All right, guys, get out of here. I got to talk to Sammy. All right, Sammy, so what did you need? Snuggler Rex, why didn't you, like, tell me that Chris was so cool? Because he's not. Chris is the most annoying and most hated character in my franchise. Goody boy. Chris is a funny guy and a bit of a loner. Look, Sonic, you may not know this, but before you guys, I had no one. I had no friends. <laughs> but when I met you guys and I got this awesome manager job for you, I have all the friends in the world. And to top it all off, he is a big Sonic fan. I'm talking big. Like, like the big balls from Sonic 3 Special Stages. Why does everybody keep bringing that up? What? <laughs> You know about him here, so you're gonna take care of him. But I mean, I don't take care of him. I don't want to take care of him. Yeah, honey. But Sammy, I, I don't want to take care of him. I don't want to take care of Chris. I hate Chris. No one likes him. Everybody hates Chris. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sammy, are you okay, dude? Uh, yeah, Sandra Sharks. Why, why do you ask? Oh, that? Oh, sorry. Sometimes, sometimes my laugh is just a little weird. <laughs> Wait, Sammy, so you're saying I don't have to actually take care of Chris? Nah, Sandra Sharks. I. Gotcha! I gotcha! Get pranked, son! Ugh. Get pranked! You got pranked! You got pranked! He's probably just gonna annoy you from time to time. Late. <coughs> uh, why am I stuck with an idiot for a manager? Hey, Sonic! Oh, brother, come to make my day worse. What do you want, Chris? Nobody likes you. Why don't you get the hint and you leave? Because we're friends and- <laughs> Shut up, Chris!